Hi everyone, this is Gail Scott and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to channeling messages that come from all different groups out with Earth. So this channeling is, is a brand new one and it's come from a group that call themselves the Unified Council. And they are a galactic council coming out of the ninth dimension. And they're here to uh, direct, assist, and provide guidance to us. They've told me that they're made up of many energies, uh, many masters, and many species, and that they have come forward as a unified group in order to bring a message to us of hope, guidance, love, and light. So first of all, they said to me, okay, uh, people on earth, you may be wondering what is going to happen? And you may be asking yourself, what is our future as we see it? Uh, maybe these other beings can tell us. So for those of you who are familiar with my channelings, you'll know that I am a channeler of all different kinds of groups and collectives and beings and I just have a, a lot of different energies that come through me. Um, and so this is a very different council because they've never told me before that they have different species um, and that it's a mix of masters. So they have said, uh, so yeah, so maybe, maybe other beings can tell us what's going to happen, what's going to be our future. Well, they're saying that is not what we are here for. We are not here to predict your future. Uh, because your futures are not predictable. Um, many futures are possible. And for us as individuals and as a group on planet Earth, our future is actually created out of the choices that we make. And so they're saying we, we create the future we're living into based on the choices that we make in the present moment right now. So this particular Galactic Council and every Galactic Council that I work with have said over and over, they can only advise possible courses of action that will lead us to a particular timeline, lifeline or course of events. Because, because we have free will, because we can make our own choices, because we individually make decisions, it's those decisions that chart our own course and of course we're all unique and individual even though we're part of a group and so there's a lot of choices out there so they ask well what will you do will you so if you're listening to this will you choose to go with the flow will you be one of many will you follow the trend or will you be one of the lesser few who will choose to tap into another source for example, source energy, um, the cosmos, the universe, and follow that star, so to speak, they said. It's really up to you. So your future is defined by you, not by anyone or anything else. So they've said, we repeat, we cannot predict the outcome, for there are many possible outcomes. They also read the energy um, at any particular time, according to their own level of consciousness within that time space reality, as they see it in that moment. So just as you and I make our decisions based on what we're experiencing and what we're seeing in the moment, they are guiding and directing us based on what they're seeing and hearing and experiencing in the moment. And so they bring to us the information as they read it and they guide us as the best they can without actually telling us what to do. Um, they will give us what they deem to be any course of action, but again, it's only what they're seeing and what they feel is in our best interests. But actually we as human beings, we really get to choose what we want and we really should be choosing in our own best interests. So they're saying, so as you sit here in this moment, trying to make your decisions on what to do, the only advice that we can give you is to follow your hearts. And this is something that I say many, many times in my videos about following your heart, be in your heart, be guided by your heart. But they've said, well, for some of you, you may be wondering, what does this mean? And so they simply repeat and continue to say, as most of the collectives do, when you are feeling love, 
Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, in love kind of feeling. It means when you are feeling inspired, when you're motivated, when all's right with the world, when you feel in alignment, so to speak, or when you are connected deeply to your God or your higher self or whatever feels like the truest to you and what is right for you, then that's your course of action. And so for many of us, we can be easily influenced by other people and other things. Um, and so we have to really discern what is our truth, what is the thing that we actually want to do. So they're saying for some of you, that might be just to remain in the status quo, follow the group. For some of you, it might mean stepping out of that line, being your own person, individualizing. You see, even though we are in a group and we're similar individuals, uh, we're all unique. And it's not true that where one goes, all go. Um, they're telling me that has never been true and it never will be. But for harmony to be created, there has to be an element of unity. And unity is the energy of the heart of love. So you really get to decide what you're going to do in your future based on where you're sitting in terms of your own energy and your own heart's desire and your own alignment place and your own choices. Now, they've said, it doesn't mean you have to like what's happening. So it doesn't mean you have to have, um, you have to agree with everybody else. You can really make your own choices. And that's definitely what they're saying. But what they are saying as well is that even though you might make choices that are different from other people, you have to have a sense of love for everyone. Um, because we're all the same, even though we're all different. So that may seem a little confusing, but this is the message that's coming through. So in order to end wars, in order to end hatred, in order to end separation, disunity, um, disarmament, destruction, um, we need to understand that we can do this both as a group and individually. But, but the question now is, what are you going to do for yourself? And how are we going to get, create, get unity? So, to get unity, we have to recognize and acknowledge that we're all in this together. And it doesn't mean simply that you live in your country and your country needs to get together, or you live in this continent and this continent needs to get together. No, the whole planet has to kind of come together in unity, understanding that even though we're all individuals, we're all living on this one planet and we're all going to have to get along eventually. So they're saying if there's disharmony in one area, that will have a domino effect on another. Um, we're not separate. And so we must begin to communicate together at that level. Peace has to start from that place. And so health and um, harmony and happiness has to be our goals moving forward. So not everything is fair. As we move forward, they're saying it's not about it being fair, which may be a new kind of energy for you to uh, get your head around. And that things for things to change and for us to have harmony, it might take some time for that to actually materialize on our earth plane. Um, but they're saying it is about us seeing fairness and equality and heart centeredness within each individual. It doesn't mean it will be fair, but we have to recognize some equality and a sense of heart within every person that we meet, basically. Um, they're saying it's not that we're going to turn our back on what's been happening, but we really do have to embrace both sides of the situation. And for some of us, that is going to be very difficult. Um, because when you are hurting, when you are in pain, when you've suffered, 
um, you don't want to be in a loving place towards that energy that has caused that for you. But this is where great strength is required. And this is where opening your heart and beginning to see that we are all one family and we're all one species. And that we, when we can see that, uh, we will certainly be able to create more harmony and happiness on our planet. So they gave me the perspective of the animal kingdom and said, for example, you would not see an elephant judging another elephant as being good or bad. You would also not see an, an ant seeing hatred or anger at another ant. They, they don't do that um, because their level of consciousness is much different from ours. It's a lower frequency from the human level of consciousness. But they're saying that even though we have this elevated level of consciousness, it's not allowing us right now to actually see things from the higher perspective that we could be seeing it at. And so this is why they're giving us this example of the animals is that this is kind of the, the fact that we have a higher level of consciousness than them. And, the, and look at us. We're, we're not able to be unified. We're not able to be together in unity, in, in fairness and equality. And so we have to begin to recognize each other in this way. And we have to rise above what has happened um, this dark energy that's permeated our planet at this point. Because if we continue to look at others with judgment and anger and disharmony, um, we will never move forward. And no matter, no matter where we are, whether it's in a family or a community or your country or the continent you live on, even the, the entire planet, you have to begin to see everyone else from love, from this love perspective, from this equality place, and recognize that as human beings in the third dimension, we all have the dark and the light within us. We all have that. However, the energy on the planet right now is being elevated. This is something I've said in every single video that I've done. And now we're moving forward into a different dimensional state because of the photon light that is hitting the planet. And it's having a, a new and different effect on us at our DNA level. And for some people, this will be very, very difficult to, to deal with. And you will make a decision not to move forward into this elevated level of consciousness. This has also been explained in other videos, and it's not a bad thing. It's not an ending. It's not something you have to be concerned about. Um, it's just evolution, transformation, transmutation. Um, but for those of you who are moving forward into alignment, into your hearts, into the light, um, you're going to shift and morph at the DNA cellular level, and you're going to crystalline into this new dimension that I've mentioned before. And the challenge is that as you move through this next time frame, um, and we're going to have to coexist together, all of us, meaning that some people are going to be working with the light. Um, some people are going to have an issue with the light. And some people are not even going to be able to handle the light. So we need to be able to be gentle with every single person because each individual person is having their own transformational experience, whether that means they're going into 5D or they're leaving the planet or they're struggling with what's happening. Um, and you're going to watch people suffering. Um, and then you're going to watch, there are going to be people who are just surrendering. And then you'll be watching people who are rising out of that energy. And so be very careful about this judgment that they mentioned earlier, that however some person is having this experience, that is just their experience. Be more concerned with your own experience. If you happen to be a leader or a light worker, your job is to assist someone who can resonate with the frequency that you're vibrating at. And so your job is to basically guide them and light the way and assist them in knowing what is true 
and that truth that you have, if that truth resonates with them, then that's great. If you are trying to help someone and you're finding that your truth doesn't resonate, just let it go. Um, just let it go. There's no point pushing and trying to make it work uh, because there's going to be a divide. There already is. And it's okay that we're in this divide. It's to be expected. It's part of the process. Don't see it as a negative thing because, you know, tr it's a transformational process that we're going through right now. And until this transformational system has been fulfilled, um, we're going to be in it. And so the best thing that we can do is just begin to be a little more um, accepting of where people are at. Um, there are many more changes to come, they're telling me. Some of us will see them as good. Some of us will find them more challenging and more difficult and everything is all right. Um, it's, it's about really resonating with your own way of thinking um, and trying to find your own truth at your own level. Uh, don't be concerned about spending time with others who don't agree with you um, because they're, they're at their level. So if you choose to be at one level and, um, you know, someone else isn't there, just, just let it go. Be okay with being where you are um, and accept that others won't always see things from your perspective. It's okay. And as you move forward, um, it takes some comfort in being with people who do think like you, who do believe the way you believe about a particular situation and be okay with that because the challenge is going to be that as we move forward into this ever-changing energy shift, um, our communities are going to change, our social circles are going to change, maybe our friendships are going to change, and even the people that we work with is going to change. And, you know, personal situations like with family members, they're going to be changing as well. And so, Sometimes you might have to let someone go and be okay with that. This is what happens and has happened um, as transformation has happened throughout the, the years that we've been humans on this planet and that, you know, people's energy and their vibrations do change. And that's just the way that transformation works. And it's the thing is right now it's happening at a very large scale and it, it looks as though, you know, certainly here where I am in Ontario, that this lockdown situation is really, it's really unending and, and rather stifling. And so they're suggesting that rather than seeing any kind of restriction from that perspective, um, continue to see it as a gift. Um, allow yourself to take the time to go inside and go deeper, enjoy the quiet, the rest, the relaxation. Um, because there's going to come a time when this is going to end in the not too distant future. And when those changes come upon us, um, we're going to look back at this time as very peaceful. And so why not enjoy it? Why not really take the time to enjoy it? So there are many changes coming um, about which we are not aware. Uh, they are telling me things are happening behind the scenes. This was also described in one of the other videos that I did. Um, and we cannot possibly imagine some of the changes that are coming because they are going to be big. Um, they are saying we don't want to say it's destructive, but destruction is coming because the only way that we can invent and create is to destroy the old. And that can often be a difficult experience. Um, it might not be easy, so just be prepared um, the best thing that you can be doing right now is focus on your body being healthy, focus on your mind being clear, uh, focus on spending time with people that you love and care about. Um, even if they don't agree with you, don't try to change anyone from anything. Just, just be together, be aware of what's important to you, be aware of your values, be aware of who you are. Um, and, and take this time to elevate your own level of awareness, your own level of consciousness of who you really are, um, and expand your spiritual awareness if you can by connecting with your heart. And that taking care of your body is actually a very important thing to be doing right now. 
even though they have promised that there will be advancements in technology for health and wellness coming down the road, but to help yourself right now is to really be taking care of yourself in a really good way. So they summarize, what have we shared with you today? We've shared that there are changes coming, that the best thing you can do is be present uh, and love the experience you're having right now and be grateful. Recognize that we're all in this together, even though we have different attitudes and you know different ideas about things. Uh, and become more connected to your own spirituality. Find more love within your heart. And use whatever higher source of love and intelligence that you want to connect with to help you with that. And if you are looking for that kind of assistance, then that is the kind of work that I do. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me. And, and recognize that as you move forward, you're going to be able to connect to more guidance and more assistance and more direction for these changes. Because we really are going through some very very challenging times and different changes. And the more that we can stay centered in love and light as we go through this, the more we'll be able to stay the course, the more we'll be able to be in our hearts, loving one another, recognizing the uniqueness that there is in each and every one of us, and understanding that that love is the unifying factor on our planet. And that is what we are moving forward into. So this group call themselves the Unified Council. This message is all about unification for us, um, about understanding that just because we are all in a different place as we're experiencing these changes, we can all still um, love one another, even though situations may not be fair, uh, may not be the same, uh, but we can certainly choose to be in our own best place and that that's really what this is all about as we go through these very very challenging times so thank you for listening to this message from this the unified council of the ninth dimension if you have enjoyed this uh, particular video please like share and subscribe and if you are interested in learning more about the work i do and how to really come from a place of being in your heart and being aligned, please connect with me. All of the links are below for all of my website details. Thank you once again.